Over the course of a week, we wanted to explore the question of how this emerging technology of virtual reality and augmented reality could really reshape the different media industries, from entertainment, to news, to marketing and branding. And so what's disruptive is all of these storytellers and creators who for the better part of uh, 150 years have been telling stories in a cinematic manner, in a literary manner, in a televisual manner, they have to really figure out a new way to tell stories for this environment. There's really always something you can do in taking the first step. You can take the most complex task out there that companies are spending hundreds of millions of dollars on R&D on. I mean, we built an augmented reality headset from truly like a piece of plastic and cut out of fish bowls. This week that we scheduled was an opportunity to take some real measured steps into talking about what that actually means. So the first way that we did this is we were asking the question, what does VR mean for news? How can a news publisher use VR in a way that's going to not just enhance the experience of their audience, but also enhance their business? We also looked at the question of virtual reality and entertainment. If you can get this experience on a mobile web TV film, then it's, it's not authentic enough, I think, for VR, AR. And so you just have to think through things like that, like what else can this device do? Lastly, the place where this issue is possibly furthest along is in the relationship between brands and marketing and augmented reality and virtual reality. Well, I think if you're talking about augmented reality, your Snapchat's the leader. Are they doing really rich pieces of content? No, but they've been pushing augmented reality far longer than anybody has. And I think Apple and Google are catching up. We had some amazing demos set up one was the Shoah Foundation, had a phenomenal New Dimensions and Testimony table where you could speak with Holocaust survivors. And then later that evening, the executive director of the Shoah Foundation spoke about how they put that together. So it raised a lot of questions for us, just, just purely on the ethical side of, is this an appropriate interview methodology for an individual who has experienced trauma in his or her life. VR and AR are gonna change every aspect or could change every aspect of the way that human beings connect with screens. At M2E, one of the important things that we want to impress upon the students is that media isn't just about the experience or the creativity, it's also about the economic environment around them. And if they can understand all three of those components, then they will have a much more sophisticated understanding of the media landscape around them.